Moving to running backs, and uh, you know those three receivers definitely my top priorities. Myers again a bit less so than running backs, uh, ten to fifteen percent. I'd say fifteen be the max I'd spend on him just because the ceiling is capped, given he doesn't score touchdowns. But some running back help if you need it, particularly if you lost James Conner. It's not considered serious or long term. It was the report from Ian Rappaport, uh, but could miss some time. And we just know the guy historically, James Conner, has missed plenty of time throughout his career. When he got out, Daryl Williams and Eno Benjamin split the snaps pretty much down the middle. 31 going to Eno, 32 going to Daryl Williams. But what was impressive, and that, the reason I would prefer Daryl Williams, as you guys can see here, eight goal line carries went to him. He also ripped off the longest yard uh, run of the day with a nice 30-yard scamper to start the uh, overtime. He was moving into the slot kind of all over the place. And don't forget that this guy last year, when he had to fill in for CEH, Daryl Williams, Racked up over 1,000 scrimmage yards, eight touchdowns across 191 touches. Was a top 12 running back in over half of his starts. I mean, the guy can get it done for sure. So I really like Daryl Williams. He's clearly more proven on the NFL field. But they do, Cardinals, one who involved, you know, Benjamin, 11% rostered right now. He had eight carries for 31 yards. Also had three receptions for 20. Uh, that kind of dates back. What was shocking is how this became such a near-even split because Eno was the first man up in week one. Uh, to, to rotate in, to spell Connor. We didn't even see Daryl Williams play a snap. That was obviously not the case here. So it seems to me that Eno Benjamin has a more locked-in role than we'd expect. I do think he'd get kind of like the Chase Edmonds work, whereas we'd see the, the Connor type of work, the goal line carries, occasional receptions, going to Daryl Williams. Uh, both guys worth an ad, though, as we figure out what's happening with James Connor and his ankle. And even if it's all good and he's playing, still nice handcuffs to have on the bench in this explosive offense. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments, check out some more videos, and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below. Ooh.